pain. But it's also the Fly Guy Lego Mario CMF Season 2 review. We're going to be doing all kinds of good looks at this bad child that apparently can't be seen on film. I did a live stream where I unboxed this version of Fly Guy. He unfortunately was missing an entire piece. Well done. And I sure I have one in the annals of Lego collecting that I have, but it's um, a one by two Technic brick with one pinhole to attach his other arm. Now, in a crazy twist of fate, I did get a second uh, copy of him in a different bag shortly after so very cool I was able to uh at least salvage this review but there's a little bit of a weird trend there i had four bags and one of them uh was missing a piece not great odds and eh, mediocre overall but i'm addicted other than that so it's, it's a fine figure it's a good fine strong enemy for your Lego Mario to fight. We have a scan icon on the back and it's got a little shy boy on it. As a fun thing, you could rotate that however you wanted to because it's only attached by one stud, which is a thing I wish that more of these figures did um, throughout the first series and even into the second series, being able to rotate them just a little bit. I think the Mario scans them. I don't care about the actual gameplay. These are monsters for me to collect in a random pack, and they're made out of Lego. All of the things that I love in my CMF blind bag, Season 2 Lego Super Mario stuff. Unfortunately, this one probably has one of the most underwhelming bases, and I've peeked at the packaging, and it's got a whole list of all of the characters, and real quick, there they are. I think this is the worst one. It's two flowers and two one by two clear bricks. Now, let's go ahead and argue in, in favor of this. That's because this bad boy has so many things in him that are so very special. So here's an exploded view of Sacrificial Fly Guy. Thank you for your sacrifices, Sacrificial Fly Guy. Lots of good, strong, very usable mocking pieces, including these three new 2x3 plates with a stud missing. It's a C piece, in my opinion. I'd call that a C plate, 2x3 C plate, but I don't know what the official name is. But you get it in three colors, dark brown, um, that's like a nougat or something, and then a bright red. So that's really fun. You also get the 2x3 feet base, which I think is honestly probably better than the 2x2 version. I think that just has a better stance to it. You're also getting uh, one of the half brickhead bricks. That's a five tall um, brick, five plates tall. Get some curvy bits, you get that. You're getting some plates and a uh, little thing. And then, of course, the big printed shy guy mask so i think overall we're getting a lot of good value because of the character build and it's probably one of the most extensive character builds that we've seen in either season and i think that is where the strength of the fly guy is unfortunately like i said the base is one of the worst now should we be arguing um going forward this is this is where you come in hey chime in ancient fans ancient fans hit that com comment below um, should we be commenting on the character as a means of getting bases? Because this is technically how you would connect it into your game uh, for the map of your Mario making. 
eh, I don't think it's terribly unfair to say that if it's got a bad base, it's a bad figure. Should we rate them separately? I think, unfortunately, you have to look at the two things separately, not as one combined build, but is it a good figure? Yes. Is it a good base? No. And I think that's the uh, biggest the biggest points uh, deduction that this figure is going to get in um, general. Now, I will say is that the figure is strikingly, like, literally perfectly built um, exactly like you would expect him to be from the video game. But as a super great bonus is that you actually could make multiple different variations of Shy Guy using this one. By taking off the propeller, you've got just a basic Shy Guy. Yeah, the um, tag is wrong for him, and, and it's going to scan as if you did something differently, but... That's fine. You could use friction pins or something different for the arms if you wanted to be able to pose those and they just don't wiggle. But for the fly guys, they're supposed to come in and wiggle and it's an effect that's very much lost in this. The Super uh, Yoshi World Islands games definitely would have uh, appreciated that animation of his arms kind of flopping around crazily because he's fly guy. So I definitely uh, give him points for that. But as a whole thing, Mediocre, base, bad, figure, amazing. And it's so weird. And I guess it's because there, there are 24 pieces. The, the packages claim to be 24 pieces, so they have to use the pieces that are left over for the base, which we've got six. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus the base, seven pieces of that um, after we're done with the Shy Guy. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. It's not, not bad. It doesn't hurt me physically. Anyways, though, that's going to be the video, guys. Thank you for watching this Season 2 CMF Mario review. If you're interested in more videos, hit uh, subscribe in the middle here, but there's an automatic video, and then a subscribe, and then over in the void is a video that I will handpick for you. It's another Mario something. Stick around, because we're going to be doing all kinds of fun videos forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever.